Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Today we are venturing back into the wonderful world of voice acting, showing you the people behind some of your favourite characters in all the latest and greatest video games. If you ever hear a voice in a game and think, where have I heard that before? Well this is the series for you. I'm particularly excited for today's episode as we're going to be taking a closer look at the voice cast of Final Fantasy VII Remake, one of the most anticipated games of 2020. Where else could we start other than Final Fantasy VII's blonde-haired, blue-eyed protagonist, Cloud Strife? Well, hell no, we're not starting there. The real star of this game is Tifa Lockhart. My turn. This time around, Tifa will be played by Britt Barron, an actress who broke into the industry a few years ago. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? I was just happy to be there with everyone and be part of something that I believe in and a show that I'm proud of. Mainly known for her TV roles in shows like Lucifer and Grey's Anatomy, before nabbing a huge part in the Netflix hit show about the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, or GLOW for short. So far, she's appeared alongside actors like Alison Brie and Mark Maron in all 30 episodes filmed to date, which is pretty damn good going. Oh. While she has been busy landing a badass suplex or two over the last few years, that hasn't made her a stranger to the world of gaming. Her voice has popped up in Halo 5 Guardians, Dishonored 2, and can most recently be heard as the voice of Ada 1 in Destiny 2. What we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Damn it, that's impressive. It's going to be a huge year for both Brit Baron and Tifa Lockhart. Ah, <sighs> Tifa. So, okay, we should have started with the main character of the game, Cloud Strife, so let's do that now. Our hero of the piece is voiced by American actor Cody Christian, who has spent most of his acting career in various TV shows and movies. Do you recognize his voice? This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. So really it's like, hey, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Cody, and then it's, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Cloud. No, or not interested. Despite being just 24 years old, you may have already seen him pop up in a bunch of different projects, including films like Kill the Irishman and The Starving Games, a Hunger Games parody movie that, well, wasn't great in my humble opinion, but maybe it was your movie of the year. No. The Starving Games aside, he has also shared an entire scene with acting juggernaut Bruce Willis in the film Surrogates. And I add, he was only 14 years old at this point. Imagine that, being 14 and acting with Daddy Die Hard. Cody has plenty of TV experience too, including a decent stint on the popular Teen Wolf TV show. And remember that one for later. It's going to pop up a strange amount of times. If you got something else in mind, I'm okay with that too. Oh, and here's a curious fact about our Cody. Final Fantasy VII Remake won't just be his first video game, it'll be his first ever voice acting role of any kind. Considering Cloud is the character at the heart of Final Fantasy VII's story, Cody has some damn big boots to fill. On the other side of the spectrum is the antagonist of the piece. This is Sephiroth. The one-winged angel is voiced by Tyler Hecklin. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. I feel like I didn't want to have any kind of temptation to emulate or imitate anything that someone else had done, so... Who, much like Cody Christian, started taking on roles in Hollywood at a very young age, appearing opposite actors like Tom Hanks and Daniel Craig in the Oscar-winning movie Road to Perdition, when he was just 15 years old. Could I have had more? You'll never know. Tyler soon found himself getting regular TV work, with his biggest role coming in... Drum roll, please. Teen Wolf. See, I told you it was going to come up again. His run in the show lasted a lot longer than his in-game rivals, appearing in an impressive 63 episodes across six years. While Tyler might also be new to the world of video games, he's no stranger to stepping into the role of an iconic character. Recently, Tyler was able to don the cape of the Man of Steel himself, appearing as Superman in various DC comic book shows, including The Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow, when they all came together for the Crisis of Infinite Earth story arc. Now, if the bullets don't work, right? Why the punching? Pretty impressive. Never understood that. Fortunately for Cloud, he won't have to take on Sephiroth alone. Our protagonist will have a band of allies around him on this journey in the form of Avalanche. As expected, our old friend Barrett Wallace will be leading from the front and he'll be voiced by John Eric Bentley. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. 
I am John Eric Bentley, the voice actor for Final Fantasy VII Remake for Barrett. John is a veteran of film and TV, and he's been working flat out since the mid-1990s, which is actually before Cloud's voice actor was even born. Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? <laughs> but not before me. I feel old. In recent years, he's managed to secure roles in such huge Hollywood blockbusters, including Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and even the greatest film ever made, Resident Evil Extinction. Who am I kidding? That is not a great film. Anyway, his video game work is just as impressive. He can be heard in some of the biggest games of the last decade, including Red Dead Redemption 2, The Last of Us and Grand Theft Auto 5. And believe me, that's only scratching the surface. Mr. Bentley is in a metric ton of video games. Oh, and Marvel fans may also recognise John as the voice of Nick Fury. He's voiced the Avengers head honcho for years in video games, including Lego Marvel Super Heroes and last year's Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. That's a long ass name for a video game. If we want to survive this, we do it as a team. Luckily, the rest of the gang are all well accounted for too. Biggs will be wisecracking his way through the story under the watchful eye of Gideon Emery. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. I was, I was, I was saying earlier to somebody that the, uh, like a, a, a role that excites me is a role where the, the you know, the, the writing is good. Easily the most prolific actor in this list, Gideon has been credited with over 200 different movies, TV shows and games, and has worked on 11 different projects in 2019 alone. I instantly recognise his voice as the legendary Devrim K from Destiny 2. Welcome back. This time I did make tea for you but I seem to have drunk it all. That character was one cool mother father. Gideon also picked up the role of Fergus Reed in the recent Wolfenstein games and even played a character named after himself, Gideon, in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Man, now I want a character named after me in the Call of Duty series. One day I could even meet Kevin Spacey. Hmm. Maybe not. Anyway, Gideon does more than just voice work, and you may have seen him pop up in films like Takers, the recent Daredevil Netflix show, and you've guessed it, I don't believe I'm gonna say this again, he was in Teen Wolf the TV series. Seriously, what is going on Square Enix? Stop taking your cast from Teen Wolf. I am the apex of apex predators. Right, how about someone who hasn't appeared in that show then? Here's Aerith, the character who tugged at our heartstrings back in 1997. She'll be voiced by Brianna White. Are you okay? Here, this is for you. I am Aerith in the new Final Fantasy VII Remake video game. Brianna is one of the freshest faces in the cast, having only appeared in a handful of major productions in her young career. After a few years honing her craft in various short films, Brianna broke through into mainstream TV and film roles a few years ago, appearing in shows like Criminal Minds and the hilarious movie Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping. Alongside the Lonely Island, Aerith's vocal counterpart looks to have a long career ahead of her. Let's remember this moment. I was so happy I cried. Another voice which instantly stood out to me when I was playing Final Fantasy VII Remake is Wedge. Despite being a fairly minor character in the grand scheme of things, Wedge is voiced by one of the remake's most established actors. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? I just did it and then I went home and I was like, who knows what'll happen? It was on AMC, it was a show about meth with the guy from Malcolm in the Middle, like nobody knew anything. <laughs> One of Matt's breakthrough roles was also arguably his biggest to this day, playing Badger in Breaking Bad, one of the most critically acclaimed TV shows of all time, and I still haven't watched it. Hey man, where are you going? You're, you're missing the best part. He reprised his role last year to take on one of the biggest parts in El Camino, Netflix Breaking Bad spin-off movie. Outside of his run-ins with Walt and Jesse, Matt has been getting plenty of other work under his belt, including some pretty sizable roles in films like Brightburn, Red State, and the animated movie Home. For as impressive as his body of work is, there is one strange note. At first glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking Matt had never lent his voice to a video game before, but he has. Back in 2011, he popped up alongside the likes of John Goodman in id Software's first-person shooter, Rage. He plays a minor character named Gabe, who just sits in one spot all day. Kinda like me. Interesting stuff. Another character Final Fantasy fans have been introduced to is Jessie. She's full on flirty in this world and will be voiced by Erica Lindbeck. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? 
I apparently sound great when I'm screaming because for about a year I booked every single Battle Chatter audition I ever did. An actress who has already built up a rock solid body, full stop, <laughs> a rock solid body of work despite only really starting out a few years ago. She lends her voice to many animated TV shows and boy is she busy. Where the hell's her mother? Answer me! Erica managed to notch up 22 different roles last year alone. Wow. A great deal of her work is anime focused. She's popped up in loads, but one title I've not tried to say out loud yet. I'll try it now. She's in Magia Record, Puella, Puella, Mag <laughs> Magia Record, Puella, Magi, Madoka, Magica, Puella, Madoka, Magica, Side Story. I butchered that so badly, I'm so sorry right now. While that might have been more than a little bit niche, she also played a huge role in Insomniac's recent Spider-Man game on the PS4. She plays Black Cat. Guess I gotta play harder to get. I'm sure I've dreamt about her at some point. Anyway, moving on. She also plays lead character Miriam in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night and Cassie Cage in Mortal Kombat 11. What's up? No matter what type of games or shows you're into, there's a pretty high chance you've heard her voice somewhere. So there we have it, a quick and hopefully helpful introduction to the voice actors in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Did you hear any other voices or faces you recognise? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a follow up episode. Also, do that like and subscribe thing, it really helps. Anyway, it's been a pleasure, I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, I'll see you next time.